this this area is like the only area like this all around so it holds life so wherever you are you're in the desert life comes here there are no palm trees or sparkling creeks at Waco Tank State Park, but make no mistake, this is an oasis. Only about 10 inches of rain fall here each year. Depressions in the solid rock boulders called Wacos serve as a natural collection system, keeping the precious water from seeping back into the ground too soon. This was like the water source, you know. Back in the day, these would collect water and then people survived living out here. You, you still see it with water after a rain, I guess. For sure, we'll, we'll walk past some, and, and it hasn't rained in like a week or so. Plants, animals, and even people have all survived around these unique rock formations. The Native Americans who lived here left their mark in the form of painted masks, the largest concentration of such pictographs in all of North America. You can see here, there's a couple, like looks like women dancing. Yeah. Um, so some kind of tribal ritual. Today, this park is a protected site, but if you look closely at the rocks, you'll see the chalk marks from a new tribe of nomads. You almost there, you got one more. Bouldering is you're climbing just the boulder, you just have your shoes and your chalk bag and your spotters and crash pads, and, and that's what's cool about it to me is it's pure. You don't have ropes hanging off of you. You don't have any of that. It's more gymnastic. Think of the sport of bouldering as minimalist rock climbing. The equipment, distances, and especially the footholds are all very small. Jason Kell has loved it since he was a kid, and now he actually makes his living climbing all over the country. Waco Tanks with its maze of craggy boulders is one of the sport's premier destinations. People travel from all over the world, like Japan, Switzerland. If you ask about Waco tanks in bouldering circles, everyone has heard of it. One of the best places in the, in the US for sure, and probably top three in the world. So this is Slash Face. This is a really good example of a boulder problem. Um, it starts here. You can see kind of where the grips are with the chalk. Um, and this problem was established in like 1996, and it was the hardest thing in the world at the time. Whenever someone was pushing the next level in this sport, it was done here at Waco Tanks. <laughs> well, you got it. Dude, get that crimp up high. Yeah, there it is. See that, dude? You're almost there. You got one more. Right there. Right there. Nice. Yeah. Got it. There are hundreds of bouldering problems hidden throughout Waco tanks, and experts like Jason are creating new ones all the time. And then when you put your right foot there, you take this hold, you have it like this, and you flip it. A good problem doesn't have to be dangerous or high, although Waco has plenty of those. But for Jason, the hardest and most creative challenges are as much mental as they are physical. You're, you're, you're truly micro-focused on those. Oh yeah, it's down to like the tiniest crystal. Like you hit a hold in your hand and if you hit your finger on one crystal the wrong way, like it, that could be the difference between you slipping off and taking a big fall. Most days when I go out, I fall more than I succeed. I'll be falling all day just to try and figure out like one move. I'll try one move for like two hours. Trying, failing, and trying again. Bouldering's most important lesson is persistence. There couldn't be a more appropriate place for it than this harsh desert landscape. Jason Kell and climbers like him have a special appreciation for Hueco tanks. It truly is an oasis, not just of survival, but of self-confidence in the desert of doubt. You get nervous and you're like, I don't think I can do this today. And those you know, voices in your head are what stop you from succeeding a lot of times. And when you do succeed, you're like, oh wow, like this is possible. And I think it also gives you, you know, more belief in yourself that you can do other things like that. You know, like you're like, wow, I made it up this crazy cliff. Like I can do anything now. <laughs>